वेलकम बैक टू एस यूनियन हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज पुणे आई हैव कम बैक यद स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स कंप्यूटर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड लर्न हाउ टू एडिट डेटा इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल आई होप यू ऑल हैव एंजॉयड लर्निंग एंड यू आर able to edit the data very well and you are familiar with it now in this video we are going to learn how to format data in microsoft excel which will make your worksheet more effective and attractive and easy to read and you all will enjoy learning this In this video we are going to learn about the different formatting features which will change the appearance of a worksheet on a printed page like date time formatting text formatting etc Let's learn about formatting numbers date and time without affecting the value of the data the formatting tool will help to change the appearance of the data to format numbers we have to follow few steps first we have to select the cells whose data is to be formatted second go to the home tab click arrow on the right of the number group third the format cells dialog box appears select the number tab in this image we can see the cells whose data is to be formatted is been selected in this image on the menu bar you can see numbers group on home tab which is been shown with a rectangular red color box fourth step you can look for the category you need let us take for example the category number is selected under number you have the facility to choose the number of decimal places you want for your data for example you can decide to use a thousand separator for large numbers here you can also decide how you want negative numbers to be presented fifth step after choosing which we require click on the okay button sixth the data will now appear in the selected format seventh you can format date and time by choosing the same category in the format cells dialog box and by selecting a suitable style for your excel document as we have done for the number here you can see this in this image we can see the format cell dialog box in which the number tab has been selected which is at the top left hand corner after selecting the number tab we have to select the required category which you can see in this image then we will select the required number of decimal places which is shown on the right hand side then select the required format after that we are going to click on okay button all this you can see in this image in this image you can see the pocket money is shown with the two decimal places and the image on the right hand side shows the format numbers using the currency style percentage style comma style and decimal buttons provided on the formatting tool bar Now we are going to learn how to format the text that means changing the alignment of the text 
font style font size font attributes indentation etc from which we will see few of them let's see setting alignment the arrangement of the data within the boundaries of the cell is said to be setting within the alignment by default we have few settings first horizontal alignment to each of the data type like number date text formula or time second numbers are always right aligned means place to the left in a cell to change the alignment we have to follow few steps we will now learn to use format cell menu first step select the cell or the range of the cells second click the arrow on the right of alignment group of home tab the format cell dialog box is displayed third you can see the options under alignment fourth click on the okay button to apply your choices to the selected cells i hope you all are enjoying learning whatever we have done till now here in this image you can see the selection of the cells for alignment in this image children you can see alignment group on the home tab which is shown with the red color rectangular box on the menu bar in this image you can see alignment tab of the format cell dialog box in this dialog box on the top left you can see the horizontal alignment below that is vertical alignment below vertical alignment you can see wrap text option where you can wrap multiple lines and below wrap text option you can see merge cell where you can merge more than two or three cells together into a single on the top right hand side you can see to change the orientation of the text specify the number of degrees below that on the right hand side corner you can see the distance is specified between the borders of the cell and the text you have alignment options like text alignment we can choose the horizontal alignment for the selected cells by clicking the down arrow on the right of horizontal text box and then by clicking an option of our choice we can either choose the vertical alignment for the selected cells by clicking the down arrow on the right of vertical text box and then clicking an option of a now we are going to learn something about text control when we click on wrap text the text is wrapped into multiple lines next when we click on shrink to fit the font is reduced to fit the data in the selected cell when we click on merge cell two or more cells are merged into a single cell indent indent text box we can specify the distance between the border of the cell and the text orientation we can set the compass for a tilt to the text degree in this text box we can specify the number of degrees this helps us to change the orientation of the text here is an example given in your textbook where you have to prepare a result sheet 
including any 10 students in this list. You have to format it in such a way that it is in a presentable form. What options would you use? Let's follow the steps and do it. First, we will create a worksheet. Second, we will select the range that is A1 to Third, we will press the Merge and Center button in the Alignment group of Home tab. This will position the text in the center. Put this text in bold. Fourth, we will select cells A2 to C12. Fifth, click on the right of the alignment group in the Format Cells dialog box. Change the orientation to 45 degrees. Sixth, center align the data. After doing all this, children, you will get a result sheet in a presentable form. Now, Let's revise what we have learned today. Formatting numbers, date and time and formatting text. I hope you all have understood and enjoyed today's class. We will continue in the next video with the remaining part of the chapter. Stay home, stay safe. We will meet soon in the next video. Thank you.